Hey everybody, welcome to Fantasy Watch. I am joined today by Josh. And if you don't know, my channel originally started out as a podcast that was named Fantasy Watch with Laura and Josh. But Josh got uh, too busy for me and the <laughs> online world, so... The story of our marriage. Basically. But we are here today to do the rapid book tag or 24 question book tag, which I saw Yolanda and Carlos do, my favorite Irish booktubers. So we are going to do rapid fire, which means can't take too long to answer the questions. I will start with the questions and then we'll rotate going there forth, but we're both going to answer. Are you ready? Let's go. All right. Online or in-store book shopping? Online. Better selection. In-store. Always. Trilogies or series? Is not a trilogy just a short series? I'll go with series. Three books. It's three. It's but trilogy. a series, but a series could be. I'll go with series. <laughs> Heroes or villains? Villains. Villains. <laughs> a book you want everyone to read. Pure and easy. Lines of Our Song. Recommend an underrated book. Lines of Our Song. Is that underrated in this community? I don't know. Maybe. I just most people have not heard of it that I'm that I've spoken to about yeah. it. Yeah. I'm trying to think. What would I recommend that's underrated? Oh, jeez. Um, oh, well, I've got it. I feel like I'm going to say The Princess Bride because people know the movie, but they don't know the book. All right. The last book you finished. It was Women and Power by Mary Beard. It was a biography of Charlemagne because I'm a nerd. <laughs> what is the last book that you bought? Other than gifts? <laughs> That's the thing. It's complicated for gifts coming up. I'm not sure what the last... Oh, the second book and perhaps the last book of the King Killer Chronicle. I really don't know what the last book I bought was. The, uh, the Hobbit. The special edition Hobbit and the Hexologist. That was the last, uh, the last ones that we bought. Weirdest thing you've used as a bookmark? I feel like I used the hospital bracelet from when our daughter was born initially as a bookmark. So that's that's probably it. <laughs> I've used a piece of hair, very um, Brave New World style. A piece of hair? A hair. <laughs> I didn't have a bookmark and I needed to <laughs> save my page. I'm not going to fold a page down. Like that's, that's very neophyte. Use books, yes or no? Yes. Definitely yes to that question. Uh, yeah. Top three favorite genres. Fantasy, uh, historical fiction, and I really like biographies. Say fantasy, sci-fi, and biographies. Uh, borrow or buy? <laughs> to quote William Adama from the series Battles of Galactica, never lend books. <laughs> I'm, I'm a buyer, definitely a buyer. Characters or plot? Characters. I was gonna say plot, but Joe Abercrombie may have changed my mind. Absolutely. Long or short books? Long. It really depends on the mood I'm in, but I feel like typically a long book. Most fantasy books are at least six or seven hundred pages, so you're really not escaping it. Pure and Easy is, is a gift in the fantasy community because it's like 240 pages. <laughs> long or short chapters? Short chapters. Short chapters. Name the first three books you think of. A Game of Thrones. Okay. Lines of Our Son is on okay. my mind. And... This is rapid fire. You have to be I'm, fast. <laughs> this isn't rapid. <laughs> this is slow fire. Okay. It's a slow Thank burn you. right now. What's your third book? <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm about to say this is gonna. This can be edited, and this is definitely gonna be in the video. It's 100 percent gonna be in the video. Um. The first rule, for some reason, that popped in my head. Wizard's first rule. By who? By Terry Goodkind, the misogynistic, terrible author. Yeah, I'm, I'm not reading those. Uh, the first three books that I think of are Warbreaker. Uh, I keep wanting to say Lions of Hours Long because you said it now like three times. But Welcome. <laughs> Cersei and Augustus. Books that made you laugh or cry? Laugh. Always laugh. Yeah. Uh, our world or fictional worlds? Fictional. Fictional worlds. Audiobooks, yes or no? Yes. No. <laughs> Do you ever judge a book by its cover? No. Almost exclusively. <laughs> yeah. A book to movie or book to TV adaptation? Book, usually. Book to movie or book to TV? Oh. Ooh, TV. 
If you yeah, like I TV. think TV, for, especially for fantasy and sci-fi genres, are a little easier to yeah. to translate to a TV show. I would agree. A movie or TV show you preferred to book or to its book? Dune. I read Dune long ago and the new movie, not the 1986 or 84 movie, that, that's spectacular and campy. Um, but the new Dune movie is much better than the book. Lord of the Rings. I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Series or standalones? I do think that fantasy needs more standalones, but I love a good series. Series. <laughs> well, this is rapid and fiery, I suppose. I don't know. The Lord of the Rings one might be slightly contentious. But... If there's any good con fans out there, um, I'll be happy to tell you why he's a <laughs> terrible author in the comments. Yeah, basically. But I will say in terms of other... Uh, adaptations that I preferred more than the books, Stardust. I love Stardust, but I love the movie. Good Omens has got to be close for you. Now you love the book, love, but you also love the show. The book is so good, but the show is excellent, really, because David Tennant and Michael Sheen are just <laughs> superlatives in everything that they do. I love them so much, but yes. Any other fun little things that you want to say to the Fantasy of Watch watchers that have never watched Josh? Fantasy of Watch. Well, Fantasy of Watch, I'd also <laughs> recommend Sci-Fi of Watch with the James S.A. Corey pen name uh, series, The Expanse. If you like the show, uh, you'll like the books. And if you don't like the show, you'll like the books. You think so? Yeah, I think that the books are... The pacing is very interesting and very good. It's a strange thing to hang your hat on for a book series. But you very much appreciate the pacing and the timing of those books. Well, you heard it here first, guys. The Expanse and hot takes on Lord of the Rings because Tom Bombadil is the worst. So if you like videos like these, you can let us know in the comments down below. You can also hit like and subscribe and hit that little fun bell notification so you don't miss all these fun little videos. And I will probably drag Josh into a few more with me by the end of the year. We're probably going to be doing our top reads of the year. I don't know if I'm going to be able to narrow it down to five. There's just been too many good books this year, but... Maybe I'll be a little more refined by then. We'll see. I mean, it's it's unlikely. But who knows? If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can find me at Fantasy Watch. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.